might be good. It might be terrible. If it's terrible, I'll just delete the video. All right. So ask your question again. Okay, so he said everything is to be doubted. Everything is to be doubted. To be doubted. Okay. That's, I don't think that's quite the same as, as doubt everything. Everything is to be doubted, meaning... My, I, I phrased it wrong. All right. Okay, no. I'm... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> how, how, how many things have I got right today? <laughs> Not as many as I'd like to. Uh, all right. So the doubt everything thing. The thing about that everything is to be doubted kind of means that you bring up an idea and, uh, and say, this idea is not to be doubted. And you say, no, no, everything is subject to doubt. Everything is subject to question. And that's one of the things that makes Descartes a radical, and it makes him an important radical. Um, because at the time when Descartes lived, um, people could be executed for blasphemy. People could be executed for doubting things that the authorities believe they should not be allowed to doubt. We have this principle in the United States of freedom from religion. Freedom of religion, interpreted as you can be whatever religion you like, and nobody else has the right to impose their religion on you in any other way. If, if, right, if somebody else's religion says you should live a certain way or you should do things a certain way, you're not allowed to do this, uh, 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 they can't make you conform to that. Or they should not be. The Constitution says that they're not allowed to. Um, and because it's freedom from the interference of, you know, um, what is it? Re religious persecution. Religious persecution is never done because of the religion held by the persecuted person. It's always done because of the religion held by the persecutor. The he interprets his religion as saying, I should force people to agree with me. You don't agree with me. It doesn't matter what religion you have, as long as you don't agree with me, I'm going to be mean to you. Um, so, in Descartes' time, there was this culture that said, these things are not to be doubted. Um, I, I, I used to have this button that said question authority. So I'm like, I, I used to wear horrible clothes. And um, the, uh, this, uh, somehow we're in Huntington, we're in um, Huntington Beach, or, or, and we're at an ice cream store late at night, and this fellow comes up and says, oh, that's a law student button. Go, what? He says, yeah, law students, they, they, they're taught to question authorities and things. But, yeah, but, um, and I have a friend who's like, and, and, but not properly constituted legal authority. You shouldn't question that. I have a friend who would kill anyone who questioned properly constituted legal authority. I'm like, okay, 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 get away from there. But that's exactly what that says, question authority. Those buttons came out in the 60s and 70s. It's like, Lyndon Johnson or Richard Nixon says, we must do this. The United States national interest requires this. And they're like, <laughs> can you prove that? Um, has it, you ever, ever had someone say to you, just shut up and believe it? Or, or what's the effect? It's like, you, quit, you ask a question and say, well, that's just the way it is. And in philosophy, in in ethics, it's no, that's not just the way it is. Nothing is just so. So, you, you, whatever claim someone makes, Descartes says that's to be doubted. That is something, you, you, there's never anything that is not to be doubted, there's never anything that's not to be questioned. And so, he looks at everything, he looks at all the things that he could possibly believe, all the things that are presented to him as true. And if someone comes up and says, God exists. You can't doubt that. And Descartes says, well, yes, I can. Until I have a certain proof that God exists, I doubt the existence of God. He doesn't mention that in the meditations because you don't want that quoted out of context. That, that's, you know, right. Yeah, Giovanna Bruno was, uh, like the previous year, burned at the stake 
for um, holding heretical views. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the thing is, Descartes' argument is meant to be founded on absolute certainty. This is why it's brilliant and intellectually honorable. Descartes got stuff wrong, but he was really trying to think logically. And there's a lesson for that in how you do the papers and how, I, how I, I'm going to grade the papers. I'm going to look for people who are trying to think logically, who are willing to question anything, and then will come up with arguments for, for, to support the conclusions that they come up, or one argument to support one conclusion and some criticism. I'm really looking for logical thinking. Descartes is giving logical thinking. I think he goes wrong, but he makes one or two little mistakes, and the rest is kind of brilliant. So you can be brilliant and wrong at the same time, and people can be stupid and right at the same time also. I've met people who had the same opinions I did, but no, or very, or almost the same opinions, but was not based on any rational basis, and that's, you know, so that, that they, uh, I once had um, two students in the class, one was uh, very conservative, the other was very liberal, and the liberal one wrote a paper that just basically gave back my own opinions to me. She didn't know these were my opinions, it was her opinions too, but it was, she just wrote a whole bunch of stuff that I agree with. And the conservative wrote a whole bunch of stuff that I disagreed with. But the difference was the conservative supported his claims with reasoning and evidence. Didn't agree with his reasoning, but he gave reasoning. The liberal just gave no argument whatsoever. It's just a big long string of opinions. Right? And so I gave it zero points because there was no argument whatsoever. And no matter how much I enjoyed reading it and agreed with it, it wasn't worth any points in, in, in terms of demonstrating a thinking process. Now it could have been that the you know that the conservatives were conservative was right and the liberal was wrong and that I'm wrong. It can always be that I'm wrong. But it, the, the, the idea is what I think is right doesn't determine the grade you get for your paper if I'm, if I'm honest and doing my job right. If I'm doing my job right, the, the content of your opinion and whether you agree with me absolutely should not determine the grade of your paper. It should be the quality of your reasoning. Does that make sense? All right, so shut that down. Thank you.